Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know what's up, guys? Back with another Blake Woot special. We're about to go um, pick my friend Benton up right now. He goes to the same school as Jacob, and we're about to go to one of Jacob's basketball games. My little brother's filming right now behind the camera. I live in North Carolina, but it's starting to get like insanely cold. Just two or three weeks ago, it wasn't it wasn't that bad, and now like. I was at work last night and the feels like outside was like 25 degrees and I was freezing. So the, the weather's starting to change like very, very quickly right now. I'm about to kidnap this kid, Benton. As soon as he comes out, I'm just gonna jump out and grab him and throw him in the back. What is that? <laughs> Get him in the car! <laughs> All right, guys, showing you how to kidnap a kid 101. <clears throat> Throw him in the back. <laughs> Get him. I didn't do anything. What I do? This is my friend Benton. Um, he goes to the same school as Jacob. We're about to go to Jacob's basketball game. Um, by that point, Zach's gonna be filming. Um, but yeah, I'll see y'all there. Guys, my security's here. I'm gonna show y'all the subwoof. Oh! Yo! Yeah. Yo! Yeah. <laughs> no, get off! <laughs> I just wanna ride! Go ahead, sir. I just wanna. Just one, just for like a minute, just for a minute. Just. Yeah. Help! Get it! Help! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You win, you win, you win. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, 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 tap. Where are all those kids running? <laughs> it's because of Nate's security shirt. What up? Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, that's my security. <laughs> What's up, boys? Y'all better hoop. We're filming it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So we're filming for uh, for the for the game. Okay. So I have a mic on, so it might go off. Go ahead, that's fine. Is that yeah, okay? Go. Cool. Let's go, Jacob. Turn up. Turn up. You got a hoop. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Turn up. Turn up. Turn up. Turn up. Turn up. Bro, you look like little Mosey. Has anyone ever told you that? Yeah. Like cheese puffs. <laughs> Daily dose from Nate. You want to be a video? You want to be a video? Here it is. Hi. <laughs> That's so cool. <goofy. laughs> all right, all right. You come back later. You come back later. You come back later. <laughs> Nearest exit there. All right, cool. Keep your eye on the horizon. There's no horizon. In here. <laughs> Just keep your eye out and make sure that we're not gonna die. Okay. Keep watch for the snipers. This is a Fortnite. Yeah, they did. Hey. My whole whole life is Fortnite. Yeah, so basically you can't touch me. He touched me. He touched me. He about to see what happens if someone touches me. <laughs> yeah, turn up, Jacob! Turn up, Jacob! Yo! Pressing when the game just started. That's crazy. Yeah, please. They might be they might be cooking right now, but if they keep full court pressing, they're gonna get tired. This, this might be a rough watch, guys. <laughs> the defense is not defensive. To who? You know her. Bro! How did that go in? I'm gonna go for that. The white says she's an 8 
You know hydration is quintessential to muscle growth? That's why I drank 37 bottles of water this morning. Hydration is key to muscle growth. This is my 38th bottle of water today. <laughs> Bro, sponsored by water. <laughs> Good stuff, good stuff. Oh, good defense. Travel. These middle schools are girlfriends, bro. Girlfriends? Yeah, I have what do you mean? I have one in second It's not real, bro. I have one in You're in middle school, bro. The girlfriends oh. are not real. Only two. Go! Go! Oh! You're getting caught! Nah. He's <laughs> dude. He's bad. No way! Hey, he up! He up now! He up now! He's probably making these shots because he left her. He's funny. Adrian Hart is funny. That's great. I'm his security guard. Don't grab my hat. Okay. Security versus security, guys. Who do you think is going to win? Um, yeah. I'm winning for sure. For sure. <laughs> you would not touch him at all. <laughs> Don't tempt him. It's not even like. I can't even entertain it because I'm gonna get arrested. <laughs> yeah, that's fact, right. Hydration is quintessential to muscle growth. I worked out for two hours earlier today on my massive legs, and the only thing that's gonna really push my legs to the next level is a sip of this one. What 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 this brand is, is this? No, no, no. What brand is it? This is Walmart Great Value Water because I'm broke. Brother! <laughs> Dang! That was a good take. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah! Let's go! Good job! Three! Good shot! Let's go! Game? Yeah, Louisville! Woo! Hey, we, do, we still gotta cheer for your team, even when they lose, bro. Even if they're down by 30 and they got absolutely cooked and they're absolutely destroyed, you gotta cheer for them. All right, baby. Hey, what's your name? What's your name? Wilson. Wilson, I appreciate you, bro. Gotta show love to the fans, man. <laughs> that was so cringy. Gosh, show love to the fans, brother. You know, you know, I got so many fans. They, they, they. I mean, you got me. <laughs> uh, you got me. You got me. You got me. All right, bet, bet, bet. Hey, we're going the wrong way, pal. We're going the wrong way, pal. Ah, frick! <laughs> That's the thumbnail. What's up, guys? Um, hope you're enjoying the video so far. I'm about to read this verse that really helps me when I'm struggling with anxiety. There have been times where I've been overwhelmed by anxiety. So the verse is Psalm 23. Y'all, a lot of y'all may know it. It may sound familiar because it's a pretty popular verse. But the verse says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The main part that helps me is when he says, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they come for me. No matter what you're walking through in life, it says literally, I will, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, walking through the darkest times in your life. He's talking about walking through the valley of the shadow of death. And it says, I will fear no evil for you are with me. It's basically saying, do not fear evil. Do not fear the devil. Do not fear these evil things that are in our lives because God is with you through all of it. No matter what. It doesn't matter what you're going through. You could be going through the hardest thing anyone has ever gone through and God will still be there for you. And you just have to trust him with that. And I know a lot of times it's really, really, really hard to trust something that you cannot physically see. But I like to think about God. Like, if someone says, I can't trust God because I can't see Him, my response to that person is, do you know that you have a brain? 
right? Do you know that you have a brain? Do you know that you have a heart? And they're going to say yes. And I'm going to say, well, how do you how do you know if you can't see it, right? If you can't see physically see your brain or see you see your heart, how do you know it's there, right? Because you can feel it. You can feel your heart beating. And when I say that, I mean you may not be able to see God, but you know He's there because you can feel Him. You can feel Him in your life if you truly look to Him when you're going through hard times. And another analogy I like to use is broken bone analogy. So when you break a bone and the bone heals properly, it is stronger than it was before you broke it. God is like the cast for your broken bone. If you don't wear a cast with your broken bone, it's not going to heal properly. It's going to take a lot longer to heal. It's going to be a lot more painful. And it may not come back stronger than it was before because it didn't heal properly. But when you put a cast on it, it's, it's broken and it hurts for a little bit. But then when you take the cast off, the bone is stronger than it was before you broke it. A broken bone is like something you're going through, and God is like the cast on your broken bone. So if you look to Him when you're going through something, He will heal you quicker, more efficiently, and you will be stronger than you were before this hardship that came into your life. Sometimes I know it's it's easier to, when you're hurting, to listen to a bunch of sad music and just get in your feels and that kind of stuff, but... It's, it'll be so much more beneficial to you if you just, when you're hurting, you pray. You read verses. You listen to worship music. You do those types of things when you're hurting because you will heal so much faster if you look to God when you're hurting than if you look to other things. I love you guys a lot. And if you made it this far, you're a real one. Um, comment Jesus loves you down below if you made it this far. I love all of you and I uh, appreciate you all for watching my videos. That's the end of this segment. Ma'am, do you want to be in a post-game interview? No, thank you. No? Okay, okay, okay. Cool, cool. Have a good night. Thank you. What's she say? What's she say? I don't think this is a place to ask for interviews, but... It'd be alright. <laughs> you want to be in a post-game interview? I don't, because I really want me to touch Oh, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. You all want to be in a post-game interview? No. No? Okay, cool. Hey, we're 0 for 3 right now. We're doing post-game interviews. Hey, stop filming me! <laughs> stop filming me! <laughs> <laughs> We're doing post game interviews. Are you in the game? No. What do you want to What do you want to say to the people about the about the game? <laughs> no disrespect. The team we played. Mark, Mike right here. Mike right here. The team we played. Are oh, no! Nice. <laughs> Jaco. You guys. Good stuff. Good. Hey. <laughs> That's good, bro. Just parted on. Me. Yeah, 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 yeah. What you gotta say about that game, bro? No, say that for the Christians. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, they need to do freaking better. There you go. They need to do freaking better. And plus, they need to get their coaching right. Amen. You don't, you don't, there you go. Amen. Good stuff. We got a good coach, but he should have no emotion. Good stuff, good stuff. Come to the youth group right down there. <laughs> Hydration is key. The line is quintessential, Nate. You forgot the line. <laughs> I've been saying this to my coworkers all day, by the way. <laughs> Hydration is quintessential to muscle growth. If you want to grow your muscles, it's not just about working hard in the gym, times already. but it's about staying hydrated after and before and during. He just, he just, he just told one of the players he played good, but that's he not did. what he was saying earlier. He did. <laughs> Tell him what you were saying earlier. His <laughs> team didn't play good, but he played good. <laughs> what? Bro, nah. <laughs> nah, bro just farted on us. Y'all want to be in a post-game interview? Post-game interview? Post-game interview, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No? <laughs> he, said, he laughed at absolutely me. Absolutely not. <laughs> bro laughed at me. <laughs> hey, what you got to say about that game, bro? I mean, uh, the competition, it was honestly like, it's, I'm pretty used to like that, but I mean, just playing my game, that was really like what got us to win and like facts, all facts. around the whole team. It was mainly our defense though. Yeah, yes, sir. Defense. Good stuff. Yeah, you did, bro. Right. Oh, that was nice. All right, y'all. So that's the end of that video. Uh, Louisville got destroyed, unfortunately, um, but I love y'all. I appreciate all the support. Appreciate all y'all watching me. Um, as always, trust in God, chase your dreams, and uh, never let anyone tell you you can't do anything. I love you guys. I'm Blake Wu. I'll see you all in the next video.